Hi guys, this is Tobias, DL3MHT. I haven't done a proper video in a long time, just uh, YouTube shorts, so I thought I'd give you a quick look at my latest project, the case for my DIY CW Kia. And uh, let me switch over to uh, Autodesk Fusion and we have a quick look at the model. And then I show you all the iterations that I went through until I ended up with uh, the current design. Okay, as you can see, I went through 21 epic iterations uh, for this uh, 3D print. So I uh, spent a bit more time than I wanted to. Um, and in the end, it ended up a quite simple design. We have um, a bottom part uh, where the two AA batteries go. We have a base part, uh, which is just a friction fit on top uh, of the bottom part. And then we have a top, which is basically just a lid, which is also just a friction fit on top of the base part. So um, how does it work? Well, the interesting bit is maybe the base part. Here on the bottom, I have two nipples sticking out. And this is where I have the two mounting screw holes uh, for my two uh, AA cell uh, battery holder. So it just more or less clips here onto these two pins that stick out uh, and here on the side there's a small hole um, where the well the wires uh, for the power supply are fed through um, then on top well i didn't put any fancy uh, things into the case i just kept kept it basic on one side we have um, well 3.5 mil check for the Kia and another 3.5 mil check uh, for the output that goes to your radio. And as you can see, I didn't have uh, the same uh, connectors. So I had two different types of connectors. That's why the mounting holes have a different diameter, but doesn't matter. Okay, a bit of uh, embossed text on this side. And on the other side, we have uh, a hole for a power switch. Okay, and now the top, let me find the right bottom. Okay, well, the top is also pretty straightforward. Um, okay, I put my call sign here, that's just fancy. Uh, there's a hole for the buzzer so that you can hear the built-in buzzer. And there's a hole uh, for the button. Okay, and that was it already. So you're wondering why did this take uh, 21 different iterations. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Okay, and now comes the most complicated part of the video uh, to tell you how I ended up um, with the final design, which I have here. Um, and the various iterations that <laughs> it took me um, to get there. And uh, I try to keep it short and not take too much of your time. Maybe let's, uh, well, look at the final product first. Okay, as you can see, scribbled down the dimensions, uh, measured uh, the diameter of the 3.5 millimeter check and of the switch and so on, and scribbled it down on a paper before putting it in uh, Fusion 360. And yeah, well, I've just showed you the final design uh, in the 3D viewer, and this is exactly uh, what you have seen here. So the battery compartment um, on the bottom, straightforward, simple box. And this is the only part which I've printed only once and then have not touched again. Um, then we have the, well, the middle part, um, which contains the electronics. And as you can see, I also did not spend too much time in designing the inside of the box. I just put the PCB inside and I glued in the 3.5 millimeter check with epoxy. And I also glued in the switch uh, with epoxy and even the uh, control button uh, I glued in with epoxy because I thought, okay, a one-time build, it's good enough. Um, and yeah, this is then basically the design. and. When I'm leaning forward and switch this on. Yeah, that's the um, hello of the CW Kia. And yeah, ready to use. Um, so how did I end up there? And uh, what iterations did I uh, have I gone through? Okay, initially I printed, um, I started here with this middle bit and I thought, okay, 
This is the middle bit on one side, the battery on the other side, the PCB. And then basically two boxes um, that go on each end. Uh, the question is where did I put the box? <laughs> yeah, here. So this was the initial design, yeah? So the battery compartment um, basically like this. And the lid on top. And uh, well, actually it looks already pretty close to the final design. Um, the difference was that I had the switch here on the top. In a later version, I moved it to the bottom here. And yeah, the diameter of the holes uh, was not correct yet and the position and um, yeah, also no embossed text on the side. Um, so in theory, that would have worked uh, with the small problem that I have, uh, well, <laughs> a quite old but still okay a 3D printer and it only prints on a perforated build plate and it always prints with a raft. And this is, uh, I don't know if you can see this here. Yeah, the surface here of the top on the top is not very nice because obviously if you build a uh, print a box um, and you don't want to remove a uh, half a ton of uh, support from the bottom, you print it upside down. And then, yeah, the raft is also sticking to the build plate. And then when you separate the raft, you get a bit of a rough surface and the extruded text also doesn't look very nice. So this is basically when I decided to switch from an approach, yeah, where a box is clipped on top of a very narrow um, base plate to a design where, let me find the right one here in my pile of defective prints. Yeah, like this, um, where basically the middle part is also a box and it just gets a lid on top. And then of course it's easy um, to print the lid uh, with the top facing upwards and you get a nice uh, smooth uh, surface. The only consigned with this design was then that the embossed text was not looking very nice. So in the final design I went with uh, extruded text. So here you see my just my call sign extruded and that looks nicer. The embossing works very nice um, on the side when you print uh, basically on the Z axis. So here you see CW key, uh, key out 0 and 1 for the switch. That looks nice but um, when you print it on the top, the embossing does not look so nice. So that was the main redesign, basically going from this approach to this approach. Uh, well, the shape of the thing has not really changed so much. And yeah, then I went through a few more iterations with this box and uh, you might think they all look the same, but they all had different problems. So, okay. on. Uh, one print I had problems separating um, the support so that's something broken off and of course that annoyed me. Um, some people would not mind. I said okay failed print, print again. And then I thought okay the, um, the switch, uh, mounting the switch I'm printing two pins here and you can basically um, slide the um, switch in here so the uh, the knob um, well <laughs> the part that switches uh, pokes out here on the right side and the two mounting holes where you usually mount the switch with a screw um, gets these two plastic uh, thingies um, and then I thought hey why not just uh, you know uh, press with a, a hot soldering iron or something on the side and melt the plastic and then basically the switch is fixed in place and of course I tried to do that and uh, you already see <laughs> where I went wrong. I didn't pay attention. Uh, melting the switch was not the problem, yeah. Not melting the case was the problem. So as you can see here on this side, I uh, when I pressed here down, I somehow touched a bit the side of the case and that was then the second failed print. Okay, and uh, finally, yeah, that was the initial design um, where I did not have the embossed text yet. 
So that was the first one, that was the second print, and that was the third print. And um, I think, yeah, that was it already, yeah? Then we've already um, finally arrived at a print which lo looks okay and which I could use for um, building the Kia. So, unfortunately, I went through a lot of plastic and failed prints here. Um, so, a bit too much plastic waste uh, for my taste, but... Okay, anyway, it's done, it's in a box, and uh, if you're very lucky, uh, then I will refresh my flimsy CW knowledge and we'll have CW QSOs in the future. So far it's not going well. Um, Bob uh, from the European Ham Radio Show is doing much better with learning uh, CW, but uh, he bought himself a Bengali here, so maybe I should do the same to keep me uh, motivated. So for the moment, um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, thank you and until next time. Bye!